Thank you again for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this weather community as we get closer to the hurricane season. And it looks like it's beginning. Now, the Pacific season, Eastern Pacific, officially starts tomorrow, the hurricane season, starting May 15th. And this is an area that I am seeing some signs now uh, of development, especially as we go through the end of the week. And then over the next few days, we should see our first tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. Not looking to see any development out of that, but a sign we're going to start to get back into that pattern. Plus, I want to look ahead to a higher chance of rain for Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, not super high, but we've got a chance of rain. A lot of us need the rain. Belize, St. Vincent, uh, over toward uh, Grenada. Uh, plenty of us need the rain. Now, here's this area I'm watching. Not so much here, but we're going to see a little flare up near Panama and Costa Rica, and that is going to work off on the eastern Pacific side over the next few days. Even the National Hurricane Center has this area painted in of at least a 30% chance of development. If we do get development, I think we'll start to see a lot of signs of that on Thursday and then even more so on Friday. And here's one of the reasons why, and this is one of the reasons why the hurricane season in the eastern Pacific starts a little bit sooner. The water temperatures are warmer. I want to get into the Atlantic Basin in a moment, but you see some of these water temperatures near 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is very, very warm, and we're going to see this surge of moisture move right over this very warm pocket. And that's why I do believe one of the reasons I believe we will see development. It's not just about the water temperatures. There's got to be moisture available and the atmosphere has to be kind of stable to allow the storms to uh, build up. So let me show you this and then I'll jump over to the other basin trying to cover everything. So this is the start of things. You see here's Costa Rica and Panama and this is taking out in time into tomorrow. And you see a lot of moisture through here, but you take a look at this shot nothing organized. But by the time we get into Thursday, you can see this moisture here off the coast of Guatemala, El Salvador, in Nicaragua on the Pacific side. This is going from Thursday into Friday and right there starting to build. You see a circulation starting to develop off the coast of Guatemala and El Salvador late on our Friday. And then as we get into Saturday, starting to develop further. At this point on Saturday, it could become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. Now, what happens after that? Well, well, that is several days away, still a wait and see, and it's hard to get a track on these things before they develop, before they develop a center. So it's going to be a bit of a wait and see. Early projections are a little bit more to the west, but there are some signs that could try to nudge back to the north. So I'll watch out for that and we'll see how much uh, rain tries to creep into the coastline of Guatemala, potentially El Salvador. That's what I'll be watching as we get toward the end of the week. And if this does develop into a name system, the first name on the list is Aleta. So if this area does get a name, Aleta, the first name on the list for the eastern Pacific side. Now, switch Switching over to the Atlantic Basin, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, in the Atlantic. You see the water, it's warm and it's running ahead of schedule. It feels more like June or July with some of the water temperatures. These water temperatures in here are around 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And later this month, like I was talking about last week, there should be some extra moisture in here where we could get some development either in the Bay of Campeche where the water temperatures are also uh, 29 degrees uh, Celsius, 84 Fahrenheit, or back in the Western and Central Caribbean. Being. So this will be a spot to watch end of the month in early June. June 1st, the hurricane season starts in the Atlantic Basin, and that does have a different uh, set of names. So if you hear Aleta by the end of the week and the weekend, that's on the eastern Pacific side. The first name on the list on the Atlantic side, that is Alberto, and then Beryl, Chris, and Debbie after that, and we'll see how far we get down the list. Now, bigger picture, there's been some severe weather parts of the uh, southeast U.S. from overnight back into the panhandle of Florida once again, but many of us, not much going on. Suriname, we've had some rain and storms. Costa Rica and Panama. Belize, we've had some wildfires around. We've had wildfires in the eastern Caribbean, so we have smoke in the air, still some dust in the air, and we are way, way too dry. But let me zoom here. This here, here's Trinidad and Tobago, so I'm zooming way down. I like to cover things island by island if I can. Uh, this is as we work our way into a four-day rain total. So this takes us through today's Tuesday. This would take us through Friday. And you see here a better chance of getting some rain. Now, this is a computer model, so again, there's going to be some variability in, in this, but it's showing, hey, some spots may dr be dry, but you see this purple shading here, at least close to the coast, uh, that's showing uh, a three inches or 75 millimeters of rain. Now, that's over the water, but this area here 
It could be over here or it could be up here toward Tobago. So just kind of a wait and see. But this at least is telling me there's a little more available moisture out there in the atmosphere Thursday and Friday. It's not a huge bump in the rain chance, but at least it's there. Let me show it to you on the model. So you can pick a spot on the map here is Jamaica, Haiti, Turks and Caicos, Cayman Islands. Rain chance stays minimal. Minimal. Uh, Mexico, the Yucatan over toward Belize, way too dry. Honduras, we could surely use some rain. We have some fires in Honduras. Now, as we go through the day today, into tomorrow. Guyana and Suriname seeing the rain elsewhere. It's not too appreciable. Uh, Guyana, some of these showers though, creeping a bit to the north. This is Wednesday. Let me take you into Thursday now. And you see here, here's that moisture building. This is the area I'm watching near Costa Rica. And then you get over here. There are a few more spotty showers on Thursday. So a slight bump in the rain chance toward Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. And there it is. There's some moisture there. No, it's not a lot, but we are trying to find some because we desperately need uh, some of the rain. Even by Friday, the rain chance a little higher, passing shower, St. Lucia and Barbados, and then this is that area that should be developing Friday into Saturday. Elsewhere, the rain chance is not high, so watching those drought conditions and the fire threat. Now, the rain chance has been high here, southeast U.S., with one system after another moving by. Bermuda were mainly dry today, but watching this area coming out of the U.S., that is going to move across and then bring a better chance of rain uh, as we get into especially Thursday uh, into uh, Bermuda. You see here, bigger picture, Gulf of Mexico, very quiet. It, not much happening. And then by the time we get into Thursday, another system in the U.S. And there's some of that rain working its way over toward uh, Bermuda. So up toward the Atlantic region of Canada, scattered showers around today from uh, Newfoundland all the way back toward Nova Scotia. Same thing as we get over toward New England and the Mid-Atlantic. You see some of the rain here. This is uh, later today at about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And then into tomorrow, still unsettled. So spotty showers around again New England, wet at times, and watching some of these showers over toward the Atlantic region of Canada. Not as much, though, as we work our way into our third Thursday forecast, the rain chance will be going down. So Jamaica, the rain chance down from a few days ago. We have a small chance. Let me know how you're doing in Jamaica. If we have any uh, wildfires around, keep me posted in the comments. Cayman Islands, our rain chance is not high. You see, as we get toward Trinidad though, by the time we hit Thursday, it's not a 100% chance of rain, but about a 30 to 40% chance of rain. It does go up some in a slight uptick in Barbados, 30% chance. We're looking at anything now. St. Lucia staying small, 20% chance. And there in Grenada, we'll take it Thursday, 30% chance of a passing shower. Hopefully it's a little bit more by Friday. Rain chance staying very small, very low. St. Vincent in the Grenadines, Martinique, 10 to 20% chance, a 20% chance in Dominica. Rain chance staying on the low side in Guadeloupe, uh, about a 20% chance, 20 to 30% chance, Antigua and Barbuda, and mainly dry today, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 10 to 20% chance, Anguilla and St. Barts, and even 20% chance the next three days, St. Martin, St. And Stacia. Rain chance 20% the next couple days in Puerto Rico, up to a 30% chance of isolated storms on Thursday. Only a passing shower possible, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Dominican Republic, rain chance down from last week, that's for sure. 20% chance, 10 to 20% chance in Haiti, and we are on the hot side for sure. Bahamas, rain chance up to 40% on Thursday. Turks and Caicos were mainly dry, and we are, of course, on the dry and very hot side in Belize. Not not only in Belize, but we get toward Aruba, the ABC Islands. Rain chance stays low. Curacao, rain chance only 5, 10% chance the next few days over toward Bonaire. Guyana and Suriname, though, as we're entering into the wet season, we have some of the rain around 60 to 70% chance. Working our way back toward Cuba, the rain chance very low, and we are on the hot side. Rain chance in Costa Rica and Panama staying high, and that's the moisture that's going to feed in and potentially develop the first system of the season on the eastern Pacific side. Honduras, we need to get some of the rain, and we need the rain in the Yucatan and Mexico. Go Cozumel over toward Cancun. Rain chance stays small. 30% chance in northern Venezuela. And there it is, as I was showing you, that front moving out of the U.S. into Bermuda by Thursday. Bermuda on Thursday, a 70% chance of some wet weather. So eastern Pacific development is getting more and more likely. I'll be tracking that for you across Central America, swinging up through uh, Mexico, Southeast Caribbean. We're hoping that we get some more showers around by the time we get into late this week, Thursday and Friday. 
Until then, monitoring those wildfires and the drought uh, chances or the drought, the rain chances, though, they will be higher later this week or later this month into next month as we transition into that wet season. So thank you for subscribing, putting a like on these videos, and I hope you're doing well and have a good rest of your day.